Today I'm going to show you how to change the back strap on your Canik Mate MC9 in case you want to change the size of the grip. The Canik MC9 comes with two extra back straps. So it looks like the small back strap comes mounted on the gun, at least that's what mine did. If you look in here, there's an M for medium and then an L for large. Uh, if you've got long fingers and you need a bigger back strap on here, I'm going to show you how to do that. It's real simple. To change the back strap, you just need to push the roll pin out of this hole here. And the Canik MC9 does come with a tool just to do that. This is just a push pin tool that you can use to push this out, and I'll show you that in a minute. If you don't have this, you could use a pin punch, probably about a 5 30 seconds would fit in here real nice. And you can use a hammer to tap that pin out. You could also use the hammer on this if it's kind of tight. And in order to push it out, I have this little, it's called a bench block. This is useful for pushing pins out. So you can set it on here, it doesn't mar the finish, and you can use it to push the pin down through the hole. You could also just put it on the edge of a table. You could actually even use the Canik case. Just put it on the edge of the case and push it through that way. So I'm going to show you how I did this using this Real Avid Smart Bench Block. So I'm going to remove the slide. I'm going to show that it's unloaded. Put it in a safe direction and press the trigger to release the striker. I'm going to remove the slide since it's very easy to remove the slide and that's just going to make it a little bit easier to handle this. So I'm just going to set this down lined up with one of these holes. So just line up the tool perpendicular with the pin. Hold everything securely and just push the pin straight down through. Now that does take a bit of effort but your pin is going to come out like that and just pull it out back strap lifts right off and yet this the small if you do it with a pin punch and a hammer something like this nice and easy and then just pull it off like that so I'm gonna go ahead and put the medium on there really simple put it on and just start the pin make sure you're pressing straight down and just kind of work it down a little bit takes a fair amount of pressure that's not quite centered they want to go down a little bit more than that well, that's probably pretty good right there a little bit of a burr there well, that is good to go. All right, so that's how you change the back strap on your Canik Mate. Yeah, it feels a little bit better. Very small change, but it does fit my hand pretty comfortably. All right, if you like this video, please hit like below. Please subscribe, and thank you for watching.